Hi guys, it is Saturday and I am so excited because I finally get to play with my Paulina palette from Blush Tribe. This is Paulina Beauty from YouTube. She is stunning, she's opinionated, she's funny, and she has an incredibly cute dog. So I was really excited to get this palette when it came back. It was limited edition and then she brought it back, so I was really, really excited to get this. This is the look I came up with. I think it's beautiful. I found a lot of really beautiful green colors in this palette. I'll show them to you in a minute, but I'm really excited. I also have one of the colors on my cheeks and I'm really enjoying it. It's a beautiful, bright look for summer. I believe this palette for me ended up being 24 pounds total. Um, and that was with using Paulina's discount. So it was Paulina 10, I believe, um, on blushtribe.com was up for pre-order um, a couple months ago, was sent out in July, and end of July I finally ended up getting it, so really excited. She also threw in this little beautiful green glitter in this cute little container that looks like a gem, and this is a bright light green glitter. I believe it is also called Paulina. Very, very pretty. That was very nice of her to throw that in. I've been ordering uh, a few indie palettes. Um, I recently got the Menagerie Cosmetics Whale Song palette, so I've been trying more independent. <laughs> I've been trying more indie brands, and I'm really excited for that. And I've only been trying to get like one palette a month, just because I do have a lot of eyeshadow. I have a ton of Anastasia shadows. I have lots of other shadows, um, but. I'm excited to be able to finally have this. So this did come really well packaged. I think it was in about four sheets of bubble wrap. It came in this beautiful bubble mailer in this bright green metallic. So pretty. Uh, it came with this little card with the thank you on it. And then it also came wrapped in plastic in a sleeve. So like I said, there are at least two extra layers of bubble wrap on this. So I will show you a picture of what the palette looked like before I dipped into it. But this is what it looks like now. You can see it is so, so beautiful. Really excited for all of these shades. You've got Friends, Sige, Suli, Angel, Thingaling, Humble, Psalm, Palena, and Aubergine. Aubergine did have a little bit of something going on with it. It wasn't, I don't, I don't know, it was just like a little bit, it wasn't broken, but it was just a little bit dusty when I got it. Not a big deal, I don't, that's fine. Um, but yeah, so you've got Palena on the front, Palena on the inside, and then you do have the ingredients on the back. So I really, really enjoyed my first impression of this palette. I'm going to get into the look. So keep watching. Hey guys, so I hope I remember to do the introduction to this after I put the look on, but I am trying out the Paulina palette uh, from Blush Tribe. This is the second release of the limited edition palette and I'm very excited because it sold out first time and I was very much regretting that I did not get it. So I was really excited to pick it up the second time it came out. I have sort of an idea of what I want to do with this. The colors are absolutely beautiful, very summery. Uh, the sun just kind of went behind the clouds right now, but I'm actually fine with that because it is hot today. I've got the fan going. You either get the ceiling fan or the air conditioning, it hot. So also my neighbors are going to talk because that's what they do every time I start to film. It's a neighborhood. It's fine. Um, so let's start with Let's see. I already have my eyes primed and I have them set. I used the color Bitter Start. I just hit pan on it from the Zoeva Voyager Cocoa Blend palette. So I got this one when I was in Barcelona last fall and I just hit pan. I'm so excited. I love this little palette. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is start with I'm going to use mostly the greens, and oh, what do I want to do? I think I want to start with Humble in the crease. So I'm just going to use um, a double-ended Anastasia crease brush. It's not my best brush, but all my good brushes 
are dirty because I use them during the week and then I don't wash them until Sunday. It's Saturday, whatever. It's a fine brush. So I'm gonna go into Humble. And put that in the crease. Ooh. That is quite deep. Very pretty. Like it a lot. So normally my makeup videos I've been doing with um, just sort of music in the background, sped up sort of Instagram style, I just tend to like doing them that way because I find I don't have a ton of original things to say, um, especially on a Saturday when I'm just sort of really tired and over all of the nonsense of the week. I just put on a YouTube video. Um, you know, there's a lot of background noise in my neighborhood and I just find a bit of music that I really like and put that on and just uh, let it go. And I find that's just a really great way for me to be able to do makeup and film at the same time. But Paulina recently said in a video that she doesn't like those types of videos. So <laughs> I figured I'd just do a regular, do a regular one like this and then Everybody can see how terrible I am at doing these talking, get ready with me videos, and I just go back to my old ones and not talk. So that is Humble in the crease. I think that's really spectacular. I really do like Paulina's channel. Uh, she's really outspoken. She's really fun. I love Sige, her little uh, chihuahua. He's very cute. Um, he always makes the funniest faces in the background and he's always like licking himself or doing something very inappropriate. It's so cute. Uh, and she loves him and you can really see that in her videos. So let's see, what do I wanna do next? I want to use the color Friends, this bright, bright green right here. So, so pretty. I'm going to be using a Sigma E25 with that just to put it on the lid. It's like this beautiful acid green color. So pretty. I've just been watching um, Nerdy Girl Makeup, Lindsay, uh, doing her looks with the Alien Cosmetics Summer on Earth palette, so I'm a little bit inspired by that because these colors are it doesn't have the blues, but it has the purples and the greens. So, just a little bit inspired by that. Not by any means the greatest makeup artist or really that good with color theory, but I'm just looking for a really bright look and I've been really looking forward to digging into these shades. So, like, look, that's just like this beautiful, Maybe you can't see it on camera, but in real life, it's just this beautiful, like, neon acid green. It's really, really pretty. It's very, very bright. Very pretty. All right, so now I'm gonna do the outer V and I'm going to, of course, use the wonderful color Sige, the little chihuahua. He is adorable. He has his own Instagram, which is so, so cute. Just gonna put that on the outer V just to deepen it up. And as you can tell, I am left-handed, so, but the light comes from the right, so my closest eye, I always end up doing really oddly because I have to do this. Because I am not ambidextrous. And then this one always ends up going up a little bit, and this one always ends up going down a little bit.
So I always do have to do a little bit of cleanup because as you can see, it just kind of, that's not fallout, that's just me doing this. So I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. And of course I'll be going back in with foundation and concealer. I've done primer already, but I haven't done foundation yet, so. I'm definitely going to be using this beautiful color solely. I believe she named that for her uh, boyfriend, Nicholas. And um, it's just this beautiful green shimmery, almost, almost a little bit tealy. Uh, that's how it looks in the pan anyway, but we'll see when you actually put it on the brush. I'm using a little Luxie brush. And we're going to put this in the inner corner. And that is what it looks like. And just bring it up a little bit. For a little bit more light into my eyes. That looks really gorgeous. Really, really pretty. I love the way that shines. Just like a little bit of unexpected shimmer. Really, really pretty. That's beautiful. I got a little bit heavier on this side than on that side, but oh well. We can always even that out. That is fantastic. I think I'm going to put that on the lower lash line too. I don't usually do the lower lash line, but I think I will today. Because I'm probably just gonna sweat this all off in about 30 minutes anyway, so why not? I am really impressed with that shade. I think that's beautiful. Really, really beautiful. And it just, I don't know how it's coming across on camera, but off camera, it just looks so rich and I really like it. I don't know if my blue eyes do anything for it, but it really looks pretty. So, I've gotta dig into some of these purple shades. I think I'm going to use the color Salma, who is the owner of Blush Tribe. It's sort of a, a shimmery purple shade, but I think I'm gonna use that as liner. And this is a BH Cosmetics brush. Just go into that. Just start on the outer. Contrasts really nicely with that acid green. So if you're new here, thank you for watching. I don't know if you're here for my makeup videos or for my collectibles videos. I do both, but I recently hit 250 subscribers. I actually hit 251 today. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm really excited about that. I know it's not a lot in the scheme of YouTube stuff, but it was really a milestone for me because I can remember when I hit 25 and that was a huge milestone for me and that was like four years ago. <laughs> so just so you can you know, understand the kind of growth my channel has not had. Um, and I really appreciate every single one of you and um, I can talk to you and um, comment with you back and forth and I really enjoy doing that. So whether you're here, <laughs> excuse me for makeup or collectibles welcome um, my channel is all over the place and I do whatever I want 
and sometimes I talk and sometimes I just put music over things and if you enjoy people just kind of doing whatever that's what I do I just share what I love Mm. I really love the way that looks. Really, really, really love the way that looks. That's a beautiful purple. And this is just the way I love to do my liner. Um, I'm terrible with liquids and I'm terrible with pencils. I just can't do it well. Um, I feel like I have a little bit more control with the powder shadow and sometimes I can use um, a fixant or something wet but I tend not to do that anymore just because I've seen too many shadows of mine get wrecked with using fix plus or whatever um, just because it tends to harden the pan and change the shadow a little bit um, but I'm sure people have better different methods for making sure their shadows don't get ruined I just don't because I'm kind of lazy so I just tend to use them dry and also when I do put them on my lid with any kind of fix plus they do tend to get a little bit cakey just because I do have older eyes crepier eyes and it just doesn't look incredibly cute but sometimes I'm just like you know what I don't care I'm just gonna look old but I'm gonna look old and sparkly so enjoy what do we think I think this looks beautiful um, I am going to use the essence get big lashes triple black it's got this giant giant brush on the end not my favorite brush ever but it's the only black mascara I have at the moment so this is what we're gonna do And as you can see, I always get something on there. That is why I keep Q-tips handy when I do mascara, because I also am bad at mascara. It is a necessary evil to complete a look most of the time, but I do not enjoy it. I had a mascara that I really love. They stopped making it available in the U.S., um, so I'm kind of sad about that, but uh, that brush was perfect even though I still had to go in and clean things up because I am clumsy. So that has made me sad, so I'm now looking for a new mascara, although it's not like there is a dearth of mascaras on the market, so I have lots of choices, um, but that is also kind of frightening because I don't know, I'm gonna go through like 100 mascaras that I hate just to find one that I love, and then they'll go, they're gonna stop selling it because that is just how my life is. I am going to use ColourPop's a teaspoon on the waterline. And I tend not to do anything on the waterline during the week. I only do on the waterline when I'm doing colorful looks like this. But it's warmed up quite a bit from the weather, so it's a lot easier to use. Sometimes it can be a little bit stiff. I recently had to throw out my favorite color pop liner in Prance because it got dried and I didn't really have it that long and so I was a little bit sad about that but I'll probably buy it again because it's not that expensive and it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful liner. Thank you Anjelika Nyquist for introducing it, to, introducing me to it. Yes. I'm going to pat my face off a little bit because I'm sweaty. I'm going to put on some foundation and some concealer and I will be back. 
Okay, so I have creamed and powdered my face. That sounds weird, but whatever. Um, I'm just using up a bunch of stuff in my collection that's annoying me, and I don't really feel the need to mention it because I'm just trying to use it up. So I've got a BB cream and um, a powder and um, concealer that I'm just trying to get rid of. Uh, so this is what I have. I have also bronze um, with the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. This is from the, this is the one deep from the Casey Holmes collection. I depotted it and I have used the Jouer Soft Focus Powder in light over top. So my face may look a little bit, little bit deeper and yellow than normal because this is light and not fair, as you can see. So, um, but I do like that more in the summer. It seems to be a little bit better. Um, hopefully it doesn't make my face look too yellowy orangey, although it really doesn't matter, does it? Um, who cares? Next, I am going to do a little bit of blush and I'm going to use my Palena palette. So I am actually going to use the color Palena right there because I can't not use that shade with this palette because... So I've got my little uh, brush, uh, brush here. So I'm gonna go into that color very, very lightly. looks pretty though pretty 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 just gotta blend that sucker out that's pretty that's pretty that's pretty little 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 tap light light tap light that's probably too much and we'll find out. Yep. We'll just take the other side. And I am very sweaty, so this is sticking a little bit more than it normally would. Also, I can take some powder and kind of blend it out. But as you can see, it is gorgeous, very pretty. I am going to go over it a little bit with some powder, just to take it down a notch. Gorgeous. Um, and then I'm going to go over it just a little bit with the color Copper Cabana. Again, this is from the Casey Holmes a Butter Bronzer Butter Collection Palette. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful color. Just going to put that on as a blush topper because it is so, so pretty. And I love a shimmery blush. And I feel like it just kind of softens it up. It probably looks very clown-like on camera. It looks a little bit more subtle in real life. That's what we're gonna go with. So I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk. I bought this one when I was in Berlin. It's very pretty, very expensive for what it is, but it is very, very pretty. Again, I need to stop itching my nose, but this is where we are, so. All right. Over that, I am going to now use, I haven't used this in quite a while, so I'm gonna pull this out again. This is the Hi-Fi Shine Lip Gloss from Urban Decay. This is in Snapped, and it's got these beautiful blue glitters in it, in a purple base. I figured the purple would go very well with the green. And it is very opaque. And it is also very minty.
Right now, I'm going to uh, spritz my face with a little bit of Mac Fix Plus. This is Mac, Mac, not Max, Mac Fix Plus. This is in the coconut scent. Love it. I really just love when you put that on and then the, the fan hits it and it feels so cooling and so nice and hopefully I don't have lip gloss all over my teeth. But. So this is the finished look. I really, really like it. This is very pretty, a little bit dark for summer, but I do love the greens. Like I said, I love that color solely. It's so nice and of course, the color, the bright color, Friends, Sige, Humble, and um, Salma is what I used on my eyes. And then I used Palena on my cheeks. So beautiful. So I'm very happy with this palette. Uh, it's not like any other palette that I have. I'm really excited. I love nine pan palettes. Those are my favorite types of palettes. You get a good size palette, lots of color, and I'm really, really digging this look. So like I said, it's hot day, it'll probably stay on maybe 30 minutes before it starts sliding off my face, but it's beautiful while I have it. So, this is it. So I hope you guys like this look. I hope you like this style of video. Let me know down in the comments below. Like I said, I'm really excited to have you all here. Thank you so much for 251 subscribers. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.